Williams and welcome to San Francisco. I'm here today for a really cool new car launch. This is the Zinger 21C. Today we actually have the development car, so it's a really unique opportunity to see how the development goes for a car like this. We're quite a long time before the launch, so you'll see later in the video when we have two fully ready cars for the Geneva Motor Show. So you guys probably don't know too much about new car launches, but on the whole, for a hypercar, it's a really small budget affair and it's, it's not actually as glamorous as you'd think it is. This company's aiming to do it really differently and the planning involved to make a cinematic commercial is, is huge. To have the photos match is obviously a massive element of that, so we're working together to create imagery which matches up to this amazing film that Jeremy's making. So it's quite exciting for me to work alongside them to get this result. Here you can see the rig setup that Jeremy's using. This is an anamorphic lens on a full stabiliser which is then mounted to the M5. We had a max speed of about 130 mile an hour during the filming. It's nearly the end of the day. I'm hoping to get in one final little shoot. It's not been the most productive day. We've been doing a lot of video, so I've actually been shooting more behind the scenes today. Uh, this final bit, I'm hoping to get the sunset with the skyline of San Francisco and the Zinger. So hopefully, if all goes to plan, in a second I'll be able to show you my final images. It was actually after the sun had set slightly that we got the perfect opportunity for some lovely natural light photos with the Gotham-esque San Francisco skyline in the background. Unfortunately I wasn't filming video when I did the first part of this shoot so we actually went and closed down Hollywood Boulevard for a couple of hours and Bixby Bridge on Highway 1. The next part of the shoot is still in California. This time we're at a very famous racetrack. We're at Laguna Seca which is a bucket list for me. I've always wanted to come here since racing it on the games consoles when I was a child. So today we have quite a lot to do. The car is testing obviously, so that is important for them to get the data. Jeremy is filming again, so he's got quite a lot to do. And I have two things that I require. So I want to do car to car photos and I also want to do statics. So we're going to go do that and we'll catch you in a bit.
Peru at Laguna Seca is one of the most famous corners in the world. And here we are. I'm about to go and walk onto the track and do some static shots and rig shots. Now, when I was learning photography, it was always my dream to go and do photography on a track. So to have a new hypercar and one of the best tracks in the world to myself, even if just for a short amount of time, to me, that is what I've always dreamed of. So yeah, over to some drone footage and then I'll show you some of the pictures. What you can see here at the top of the corkscrew is me attaching my six meter carbon fiber rig to the zinger. We use three suction cups and then a carbon fiber pole with the camera on the end. The rig is of course photoshopped out. The corkscrew is by far the most steep place I've ever done a rig shot and controlling the car so it was slow enough for the rig shot was actually quite challenging. It's been a great day at Laguna Seca. The next part you will see is in a studio about a month later, somewhere near LA, where we now have two finished show ready cars. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Watch my next video coming out soon to see exactly how we do a studio shoot. This one's going to be really special. I'm quite excited to show you guys. Until then, see you soon.